Hello students, this is our second video on chemical kinetics and in this video we are going to discuss about order and molecularity of reaction. Uh, we will start with order of reaction, then we will see units of rate constant, then we will move to elementary and complicated reactions and finally we will see what is molecularity of a reaction. Okay, so let's start with order of a reaction. For explaining this, I, here I have taken example of a, a hypothetical reaction in which reactant A reacts with B to form product C and D and this is the expression for rate constant. Okay, I have explained this in my previous video that these power x and y may or may not be equal to the stoichiometric coefficients of A and B. Then the question comes, what does these powers that is x and y indicate? x indicates that how sensitive is the rate of reaction to the change in concentration of reactant A and y indicates that how sensitive is the rate of reaction with change in concentration of the reactant B. That is how x and y indicate how sensitive the rate is to change in the concentration of A and B. Here x is known as the rate of or sorry the order of reaction with respect to A and y indicates the rate of reaction with respect to B while x plus y is known as overall order of a reaction. For example, if let's say uh, the expression is this 2 and for B it is 3. So this indicates that order of reaction with respect to A is 2 and order of reaction with respect to B is 3 while overall order of reaction is x plus y which is 2 plus 3 which is 5. So overall of order of a reaction is 5 while individual reaction order of the reaction uh, with respect to A it is 2 with respect to B it is 3. So the sum of powers of the concentration of the reactants in the rate law expression is called order of that chemical reaction. Okay. If order if overall order of a reaction is 1 it is known as first order reaction if it is 2 it is known as second order reaction if it is 3 it is known as third order reaction. Again I am repeating x represents the order of reaction with respect to A, y represents order of reaction with respect to B and x plus y represents overall order of reaction. Okay. So next is unit for rate constant. What are the units used for rate constant? Again here the same example and this is the expression for rate of uh, uh, rate constant rate divided by the concentrations of reactant A and B raised to power their indivisible powers or orders. Okay, so unit of rate constant K will depend will be equal to the unit of rate divided by unit of the concentration of react uh, concentration raised to power n and is overall order of a reaction which is equal to x plus y. Okay, so what is rate again rate of a reaction is change in concentration of reactant or product with time. So unit of concentration is mole per liter, unit of time is second again the unit of this is mole per liter but here there is a power n which is equal to x plus y or overall order of a reaction. So unit of k is will be mole per liter this one 1 minus n n comes from denominator per second this is the general expression for unit of a rate constant where n is equal to overall order of a reaction if it is first order reaction value of n will be 1 if it is zero order reaction it will be zero for third order reaction n will be equal to 3 so n is the order of reaction okay now let's understand all the things which have which we have studied so far with an a simple example a very simple example this question says decomposition of ammonia on platinum surface is a zero order reaction okay let's write first of all uh, let let us write the equation for decomposition of reaction the decomposition reaction and this is um, first it will form nitrogen and it will form hydrogen 3 2 this is the balanced equation and what does the question say it is 
a zero order reaction that means for a zero order there is only a single reactant so we'll write only this and the power will be equal to zero because it is a zero order reaction so in this case the rate of reaction becomes equal to yes the rate constant and the value of rate constant is given here 2.5 into 10 power minus 4 liter per mole per second okay so next thing is it, it has asked the order what what are the rates of production of nitrogen and hydrogen we know that rate of production of product is equal to rate of consumption of reactants so in this case rate of formation of nitrogen will be equal to r sorry or k which is 2.5 into 10 power minus 4 liter per mole per second but what we see from the equation that for every single molecule of nitrogen formed three moles of hydrogen are formed so rate of formation of hydrogen will be thrice to that of yes nitrogen and it will be 3 into 2.5 into 10 power minus 4 which is equal to 7.5 into 10 power minus 4 liter per mole per second now let's move to our next topic which is elementary and complicated reactions what are elementary and complicated reaction a chemical reaction that takes place in a single step is called elementary reaction here i have taken examples of two elementary reaction the first one is decomposition of phosphorus pentachloride into phosphorus trichloride and chlorine gas this is a reaction which takes place in a single step so it is an elementary reaction and second one is this formation of sulfur trioxide from sulfur dioxide this is also a single step reaction another single step reaction is burning of coal which forms co this is also a single step reaction this also takes place in a single step so this is also an elementary reaction so every reaction that takes place in one and only one step is called elementary reaction on the other hand there are some reactions which take place or which complete in more than one step and those are known as yes complicated reactions and example of a such reaction is reaction of nitrogen dioxide with fluorine to form this product this is a reaction which takes place in more than one step we will uh, see more examples of this in our next slide okay so the next thing which comes here is molecularity of a reaction what is molecularity of a reaction in case of elementary reaction the molecularity is equal to the number of molecule taking place the number of reactant molecule taking part in it that molecularity of an elementary reaction is the number of reactant molecules taking part in it here there there is only one reactant molecule in this reaction so this is a unimolecular reaction or the molecularity is equal to one here there are three this is an elementary reaction i discussed earlier also this is an elementary reaction this takes place in a single step so for this the molecularity will be equal to the number of reactant molecules there are there is two molecules there are two molecules of sulfur dioxide and one molecule of oxygen so the total number of molecules of reactant is three so it is a trimolecular reaction again i am repeating for an elementary reaction the molecularity is equal to the number of reactant molecules while for complicated reaction molecularity is equal to the number of reactant molecules that take plus in that, that take part in rate determining step step we know that a complicated reaction completes in more than uh, one step two or more than two steps so out of those two or more step one step which is slower in uh, speed or, or or the rate is minimum is the rate determining step and the number of molecules of reactant present in that particular step which de which determines the rate of reaction will be the molecularity of reaction we will discuss about this in our next slide okay 
so the slowest step is the rate determining step for complicated reaction the molecularity is equal to the number of reactant molecules which are taking part in rate determining step and which step is rate determining yes the slowest step is rate determining step let's take example of a complicated reaction which is decomposition of hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide decomposes to form water molecule and oxygen and this happens in two step in first step hydrogen peroxide de decomposes to form water and releases a nascent oxygen now these two nascent now the two nascent oxygen atoms combine to form oxygen molecule so this reaction is taking place in two step the first step is this one and this is the second step now out of these two steps the first one is slowest step is the slower step so this will be the rate determining step the rate of the reaction will depend on the slow step and this one is the slow step again we know that the reactions with okay so this one is the rate determining step the first one is the rate determining step so what Uh, we discussed that for complicated reactions the molecularity is equal to number of molecules of reactant which are present in rate determining step so although in overall reaction there are two molecules of reactant taking part but the molecularity is one because there is only one reactant molecule present in rate determining step so rate determining step for a complicated reaction depends on uh, the slow the one the step which is slower will be the rate determining step and the molecularity will depend on the number of molecules of reactant present in rate determining step the slower step okay if the molecularity is one it will be unimolecular reaction if the molecularity is two the reaction will be known as bimolecular for three it is trimolecular now the reactions with higher molecularity with that is greater than 3 are rare they are generally not found the the, the reactions with molecularity greater than 3 are very rare why because reaction takes place when reactants collide reactants collide simultaneously and this collision gives them energy to form product again if the molecularity is 3 in that case three molecules will collide simultaneously to form product the form will be product by collision of three molecules now the chances that more than three say four molecules will collide at the same time simultaneously is very low very rare the chances that the molecules greater than three more than three will collide simultaneously at the same instant is very rare and that's why the reactions of higher molecularity that is greater than 3 are rare again this is because the chances of more than 3 molecules coming together and colliding simultaneously is less and that is why the reactions with molecularity greater than 3 are rare that's all i hope all the things are clear to you this is again an important topic a very simple but important and you should go through this also number of times in order to make all the concepts clear so that you will be able to solve the problems thank you let me finish with this